we say welcome back to 3 News at 5. I'm Laura Casho in for Jay with Christy Paul. Thanks for being with us on this Thursday. And we were talking about it all break long, and I'm sure you've been talking about it. We're less than a month away from the event of a lifetime here in Northeast Ohio. And while you've already heard that you should not look at the eclipse before totality, what about if you're looking at it on your phone or maybe through a camera? Yeah, this was a great question somebody sent us. Because Amazing. you think, is that protection somehow? Stephanie Haney has advice on safety, uh, not just for your eyes, obviously, but also for your equipment. In today's Verify, she looks at the eclipse, let's say, through a new lens. You know by now that in order to look directly at a solar eclipse, you need to wear ISO certified eye protection. But what if you want to photograph or record the eclipse to look at it later? That's what 3 News viewer Tommy Fister asked us about with this question. Is it safe to take pictures of the eclipse with my smartphone camera? To verify the answer to Tommy's question, we talked to Cleveland's NASA Glenn Research Center lead contract photographer Sarah Lothian Hanna and Great Lakes Science Center Community Engagement Coordinator and former NASA educator Jean Dar Bradshaw. As NASA Glenn Research Center's lead contract photographer Sarah Lothian Hanna explains, just like your eyes, pointing your camera or your smartphone directly at the sun could potentially cause damage to your camera, specifically to the light sensors. So to protect those, you can use a special purpose solar filter made specially for your smartphone or your camera. Great Lakes Science Center's John Dar Bradshaw told us that all of the professional photos and videos we see of eclipses are taken using this kind of special filter to protect that equipment. Now, about the moment the moon completely blocks the sun. Bradshaw tells us that at the point of totality, when it's safe to remove your solar glasses, then it's safe to use your smartphone or camera for that roughly three minute period when the sun is completely blocked by the moon. But before that, Leading up to totality and immediately after totality is when damage can occur without the proper protection. For this reason, Lothian and Hannah tells us we have to remember to put on eclipse glasses to protect your eyes when viewing and setting up your shot through the viewfinder of your camera. Otherwise, Bradshaw says, it will be no different than looking at the eclipse through a pair of binoculars or telescope, which would be harmful without protection. So we can verify the answer to Tommy's question is it safe to take pictures of the eclipse with my smartphone camera is no, not without the proper special purpose solar filter on your camera. Otherwise, you're taking a risk with your equipment. With your Verify, I'm Stephanie Haney. Wow. Oh, Stephanie, thank you. Now, if you'd like something verified, you can email us at verify at wkyc.com or text us at the number that you see on your screen. We'd love to try to help. And don't forget, Channel 3 is the place to be on April 8th. It's being called Total Eclipse of the Park. We have pre and post eclipse coverage for you, all leading up to the Cleveland Guardians home opener at 510.